Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be helping you guys get 5 on AP Calculus, either AB or BC. So we should just jump right to it. Um, so first we should understand the format of the AP Calculus test. Uh, first there's the multiple choice section, and it's divided into two parts. The first part is no calculator, and the second part is calculator. I believe the first part has 30 questions, and the second part has 15 questions. Uh, the FRQ also has two parts. Part A is calculator and part B is uh, no calculator and uh, part A has two questions, part B has four questions, each have about uh, three sub question, three to four sub questions. Um, to get a five on AP Calculus, you need to have a strong understanding of the topics covered in the course and here's some tips that will help you guys achieve that. So uh, tip one is to obviously understand the concepts. It's necessary to understand and review your uh, fundamental concepts such as limits, derivatives, integrals, differential equations, uh, and that stuff. For the AP Calculus BC test, uh, you'll need to understand all the series tests and uh, polar integration and polar integration and derivatives, uh, which aren't too bad, but you're gonna have to make sure to review those. So uh, number two, you gotta practice. Uh, so practice problems are a crucial part of your preparation. Uh, make use of the materials offered by the college board with their uh, past exam questions. So work as many, work through as many past papers as you can. Uh, you can also use other resources such as textbooks and online videos to help you practice. I also suggest uh, investing in a review book. I prefer the Barron's AP Calculus Review Book as the questions are harder than the AP exam. So those questions will most definitely help you practice for the AP exam and help you get that five days you truly desire. I've also used other books in the past with other AP exams such as the Prince Review Book as well as Five Steps to a Five. Uh, so step three or tip three, uh, you're going to want to stay organized, create a calendar. Uh, so you're going to want to uh, create a study schedule and you're going to want to keep to it. And you're going to want to incentivize yourself to keep to it, uh, such as like uh, taking little breaks or uh, treats if you stick to the schedule. So uh, make sure you're allocating time for yourself and to um, just set some, set some time aside to prepare for the AP Calc test. And you're going to want to uh, set aside uh, some time for each topic in each section of the exam. Um, that you're like obviously going to be taking so you're going to want to practice multiple choice with calculator no calculator and you're wrong and you're going to want to practice FRQ uh, with calculator and with no calculator and with each of those you're going to uh, want to uh, go through each topic of AP calculus uh, by referring to the course and exam description and you'll uh, want to go through some multiple choice and for response for each part of the CED um, so uh, tip four, uh, I believe that you should seek help. Um, seek help in multiple different mediums by asking your friends or asking your teachers uh, because your teachers and friends are there to help you. And so yeah, uh, do not hesitate to seek help from your teacher. I've done that so many times in the past for CalKB. I don't think I said this previously, but uh, I took CalKB last year and got a five. Uh, I'm taking CalCPC this year, or I, I took CalCPC over the summer, uh, but um, I took multivariable this year, and I'm expecting to get a 5 this year because um, I think I'm prepared enough. Uh, but, okay, aside from that, uh, you can use online resources such as forums and study groups to get help. Um, the AP Discord server as well as the AP Reddit is really helpful. It's helped me a little bit. So yeah, I think that's pretty helpful for you guys. That's it for like the tips, but here are some like strategies that you can have like during the test. So, uh, strategy number one read the question carefully. There have been so many times where uh, during my practice that I haven't read the question carefully and I ended up solving for the wrong thing or finding the wrong thing, either integrating or finding the derivative of something they're supposed to do the opposite of. You know, everyone's made those mistakes. So make sure you're reading the instructions carefully for each question. Pay attention to the details, including the number of points uh, that each question, have, each question is worth. And I don't believe units are necessary for the test, but uh, for a free response question, make sure you're entering the correct units. So for strategy two, you're going to want to manage your time. Uh, allocate your time very wisely during the exam, especially for the free response question. Er, free response questions that doesn't really apply for the multiple choice, uh, because for the multiple choice, you can just simply skip the ones that are the most hard and then uh, come to the ones that are um, uh, come to the ones that are harder as you go through the test. So. With that being said, I would go through the test and uh, look at like the graph questions or the other ones that are really easy, like simply solve for the derivative or solve for the integral. Uh, go solve those really fast because each question is worth one point. So you're going to want to get all of those, just collect all the points that you can, and then 
Uh, after you're done with that, you go back and then you solve all the hard ones, you solve all the series ones, those are very difficult, you solve the polar ones, those are going to be very challenging. So yeah, uh, make sure you're skipping the ones that are harder and going back to those at the end, uh, because all of them have the same point value, especially for the multiple choice. So for strategy 3, uh, for the this applies only for the FRQ, uh, make sure to show your work. Uh, for the multiple choice, it is necessary that you do not show all of your work, uh, because you're just wasting your time if you're doing the entire problem. Uh, but for the FRQ, uh, make sure you're showing your work and reasoning for each question, um, especially if you're confident about the answer. Uh, even if you're not confident about the answer, uh, showing all of your work will get you partial credit on the FRQ. Um, that is a fact uh, if you look at the scoring guidelines. Um, even if you get it wrong, if you can literally get a point for either taking the derivative or integrating. So if you don't know what you're doing, do one of those and you'll probably get a few points. So yeah, that's it for the tips and strategies. Uh, yeah, so yeah. In summary, to score 5 on the AP Calculus A, B, or B, C test in 2023, you'd have a strong understanding of the concepts, practice regularly, stay organized, and seek help when needed, uh, and use the strategies that I said during the test, because I did it, and I think it, uh, it was a very enduring and difficult process, but overall, it was worth it for that juicy, amazing 5. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to use these tips and strategies to better your academic performance on the AP Calculus test. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.